next is a session on india's success story experience fictional universe um this is a truly inspirational story a success story on a journey from silicon valley to heritage city uh, i'd like to invite mr harsha founder and ceo of hollow world a skill metaverse augmenting humans and robots a pioneer in robotics and artificial general intelligence he's been a tedx speaker on this subject with 40 plus patents in the field of robotics ai augmented reality and virtual reality please join us welcome mr harsha hi everyone uh, thank you for having me here uh, while they load up the presentation i think it was i was very fascinated to see miss devyani's like speech and she really hit every point that was kind of bothering deep tech startups in india so i'm really happy to see how well it was acknowledged and also the bcg group it was a very well um, kind of presented information about the technology which are there uh, is the presentation ready so while the presentation is ready i'll just give quickly the agenda so i'll be um, taking you through a presentation of the journey of hollow world uh, and then we will have some live demos and during the demos i'll also be taking question and answers so we will probably have 10 15 minutes of presentation and 15 minutes of demo and while they are setting the demo will be taking q and a so while the presentation uh, let me just see if we need to help with the present i am basically representing here hollow world and it is a startup which started it's a deep sex startup building a digital skill metaverse and our vision and mission was to hire a million and skill a billion and we started this in a tier 2 city of mysore right and uh, from that let us just quickly have a surprise welcome no. to nasdaq bangalore i think it's a, a great initiative to be part of welcome so this is actually again driven by the deep tech so you will see how deep tech made yuvraj singh appear here and you will also see some very interesting demos of this deep tech live but now what are these deep techs that we are building in the heritage city of mysore it's let us just quickly look at a peak of this so we have built and patented something called hollow suit which is the interface of the future right just like iphone virtualized your fingers and allowed you to interact in 2D hollow suit virtualizes your entire body and allows you to interact in 3D with AR VR and the applications are enormous from sports to education to entertainment to healthcare to security gaming industry and robotics now we will just deep drive into one of the applications right one of the applications that has been enabled is in helping keep our country secure by training our soldiers on how to deal with any situation so let us take a look at how this has been realized with different kinds of operations terrains enemy behaviors and develop muscle memory for the same through multiplayer connection and customizable scenarios using hollow suit so this is the hollow suit it's a sensor technology Hollow suit is a bidirectional full body motion capture suit with inbuilt Something happened to the audio? Can you play it? It allows trainees to familiarize with different kinds of operations, terrains, enemy behaviors and develop muscle memory for the same through multiplayer connection and customizable scenarios using Hollow Suit. Hollow Suit is a bidirectional full body motion capture suit with inbuilt Suit is a bidirectional full body motion. 
लेटेस्ट ऑडियो ब्रीफिंग आप एम्बुस पार्टी के सदस्य हैं सिखलाई के आधार पर आपकी एम्बुस पार्टी तीन अलग अलग पार्टी में विभाजित की गई है स्काउट्स कवरिंग पार्टी और सदस्य हैं जम्मू एंड कश्मीर आप एम्बुश साइट पर जाके एम्बुश लगाएंगे इंडियन सोल्जर सर्किट आपके ग्रीफ. सामने आपके हेडसेट में आपके एरिया ऑफ रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी का दृश्य नजर आएगा टेरिस्ट की हरकत होने पर सिखाए हुए तरीके से उपयुक्त कार्रवाई करनी है सो द सोल्जर्स हियर आर वेरिंग द हॉलो सूट and they are now in jammu and kashmir and all their body movements are reflected one is to one they can see each in other in the ambush operation they also the have a can be seen taking position behind the rocks comes. to fire at the enemies coming from the caves and whatever movements they are doing complete body movements are captured as you can see this soldier can see the other soldier walking and once they start experiencing this in the virtual world their body muscle memory gets actually trained to deal with any situation because these ai enemy terrorists will behave just like the real terrorists they will come they will ambush they will do patrol On they will do various operations a report is generated with the performance details and complete information is available at the end of the training so how did we do this right now the happy thing is the entire indian army now is actually getting trained using this technology this is deployed it's been deployed for over an year now right now it is actually not, not something which just happened it has been deployed and let us see how it all started right it started with a simple vision the vision was that anyone anywhere on earth should be able to learn any skill they want for less than 10 dollars per month right because this is something just imagine like you can now potentially skill a billion people like for less than like what like we are spending for the less than the bailout that happened in this thing right so the entire population of the world can actually get educated if we are able to achieve this vision and i'm talking about any skill whether you want to be a doctor whether you want to be a neurosurgeon whether you want to be a space scientist any skill you can learn and this started when prime minister modi ji came to us anand for the first time ever on indian television we have uh, a startup which is going to be presented to the indian prime minister tomorrow we have with us harsha and kavita and natasha is in this amazing kavita krishna swami is in washington dc and she is virtually right here she can move she can walk and she is differently able but she is moving and talking and she is going to be there at the sap center tomorrow as well why are this very startup it's almost like a new version of a hologram uh, ash and it also makes me feel like i'm in a star wars film of some sort yeah tomorrow at the event tomorrow and ash he wants to make that silicon valley in india too that's his whole point that's why he's vit visiting silicon valley so he can replicate some of the success and that innovation and that entrepreneurship back in india too absolutely so, uh, and so yes that is why i'm planning to like uh, move to india to my hometown mysore karnataka and do research from there so so that is when i came back i was actually working for microsoft robotics building robots for bill gates and uh, my wife was also in microsoft so we both came back to mysore and we started this and uh, our vision was very simple right see if you look at a harvard or a stanford they have infrastructure worth billions and they also have instructors right the trainers who are there are themselves probably worth millions right imagine if we want to put each one of those instructors in a village like this if you want to put the infrastructure in a school or a college like this how do you make that happen how much money will you need how much time will you need will it ever be achieved but i'm happy to say we have already achieved it to a significant extent and let us go through that story 
So it started when I kind of actually wanted to build this suit, Iron Man suit, right? Which could track all your body movements. And at that time, I didn't know anything about tailoring. So I got these sensors, I designed them, I printed them. But the only thing I didn't know was how to stitch. So I bought some tailoring machine. For the first time in my life, I started stitching conductive threads. And it turns out that when you stitch, everything shrinks. So I made the suit for my size, but it actually fitted only my wife. It couldn't fit me. And she was five months pregnant. right? So I had her wear this suit and control Darth Vader. And as she was controlling it, one soldering would go out. So I'd go back, solder it, she would be standing five months pregnant, waiting for the suit. And the interesting thing is, we posted this video after all this trial. Within three days, we had 20,000 followers on Facebook. And after that, there was no stopping. And we won the Karnataka Elevate Award twice in a row, 2018 and 19. We won the Army Innovation Award. We won the National Startup Award for Education. All from the tiny city of Mysore, right? The best part is all of these things, so many more awards. And the most interesting thing is we have raised over $2 million, mostly from Mysore investors. People who were from Mysore, who went all around the world, we connected with them and the connection to the heritage city of Mysore was so strong that they just said, okay, do this. This seems like very exciting. I don't know whether I'll ever get my money back or not. But this is a cause worth investing. And then through that, we were able to actually go back to Prime Minister Modi ji and shake his hands virtually. Combining all the technology that BCG partner was showcasing, 5G, as well as robotics, as well as sensor technology, everything combined together and this impact is going to change many many industries for example right here in bangalore we are doing rehabilitation this is a kid who is actually wearing the hollow suit and he is controlling this robot and getting trained so we are retraining the mind of this kid using this technology and look at how excited he is in fact this is the same technology which is being used by the soldiers you can see here, they are actually publicly tweeting about this, saying that we are using Holosuit to control this. Not just in India, this is also in Dubai, right? And then it is also being utilized for sports. Yuraj Singh is our brand ambassador. And as you can see here, how we are doing this, wearing Holosuit, Yuraj Singh can capture all his body movements and he can actually come to your home using our technology of Holomap. So his hologram will start teaching you how to play cricket. And then when you go to your school or college, you can wear the hollow suit and Gary Kirsten's avatar will come and tell you where you made mistakes. Right? So as you can see, this is a hologram of Yuraj Singh. And not just the hologram of Yuraj Singh. Why limit at that? You get the complete pitch. You get to change the pitch, everything. How many dollars does it cost? to make a real cricket pitch and see how the ball bounces. Here, it costs you zero dollars. You just figure out which type of ball gets bowled, how to play for it, how to actually position your field, everything now you can use using this technology. And I'm happy to say his, along with Yura Singh, Stanford professor, army generals, everybody, even technical head, have all joined in this vision. And these are the technologies which are not just made in India, they are invented, designed and made in India. And we already have 12 plus global patents. I think Ms. Devyani was referring to about patents. I personally have about 45 patents. And one technology that you are actually seeing in action here is how a human is controlling the robot, right? As he is moving his head, the robot head is moving. As he is moving his hands, isn't this what Iron Man suit does, right? So, in fact, I'm happy to share that about 19 countries have actually imported our technology, right? So, including Israel, 
Japan, Germany, they have all bought hollow suit and it has been shipped from Mysore. And not just that, within India and in Japan and in US, we have actually supplied this to Bharat Forge, to Ericsson, to SoftBank. And now we have grown to a team of about 100 people. In fact, we represent most of India in Mysore. All of them have actually shifted to Mysore. And all the technologies that you said, right? We have industrial designers, graphic designers, UI, robotic scientists, computer vision scientists. Every flavor of them are here. And they have all come united to Mysore. And we know that the woods are lovely and deep. But we have miles to go and smiles to spread before we sleep. And we really request your help especially kind of NASCOM, which has such a great pool of people who can come and help us. And these are the technologies from HoloMat to HoloXR to Holo Capture to Holo Suit to Holo Projector, all of them created here. And while they are setting it up, you can actually start seeing how we have created various experiences in all these domains, right? Right from the domain and I would love to take any questions, right? So they are just going to be setting up some more one demo of the hollow projector. As they are setting up the demo, I would love to uh, answer any uh, questions that you might have. Uh, the question was, what's your biggest challenge today? So I think it's exactly what you mentioned over there. I think BCG group showed and you also showed the deep tech. See, we are no longer a startup, we are a scale up. But we are too big for us to get the small grants and we are too small to get the big kind of VC money, right? Because what is happening is we have actually built a lot of traction and now we are ready to take off. But we need support. We, need, we don't need huge money actually because these are all patented technologies and all. But we hardly need like another few million dollars maybe one, two, that's it, to really take off, right, to make it global because we need to go to US, showcase it, I'm going to CES. So all these things, now marketing costs money, right? So biggest challenge is actually a little bit of extra money at the end as investment would be one thing. The other one is being able to just, I mean, make sure that the word is spread around, right? that this type of technology exists here. That is where I'm really looking for NASCOM. That's where all of you will actually be walking away with a hollow mat and you can download a Mysore Palace into your home as a hologram. So please uh, look at the instructions. You can just go to Google Play Store, download this hollow old Mysore Air app and take a Mysore Palace away. Uh, so look at, I think we have a hollow mat given to each one of you. And now, like the interesting thing is, how did we create this Yuraj Singh demo, right? Let's take a look at that. Hi. This is how it's done. Yes. One second after this. So we went and did something called Holo Capture, where within minutes we created a 3D model of Yuraj Singh. Hi. This is how it's done. And Holo Suit and Holo Face allow you. And I'm very happy to say that a million dollar facility in Abai, which is doing motion capture using all these cameras, it is now shifting over to this Made in India technology. From tomorrow, it will be installed there in Abai, thanks to the support of local people like you. Yes, please, you had a question. Yes. Absolutely great. I, I work in the diversity and inclusion field, but in, um, and I was just wondering whether you know this is actually um, in an example of what we can do with your technology. Absolutely, this is a cakewalk because we also have the gloves, we have the this one, so we just need people to use these applications. See, one of the reasons when I was in US. I saw that they get early access to the deep technologies, right? Uber, all these guys, why they were able to become billion dollar? Because they get access to the touch much earlier than us. 
So what we want to do is give access to these technologies. In fact, we have already deployed it in various universities all around India. Now Stanford and all those universities want it, right? So we are giving technologies first to India and then exporting to the world. And this is definitely one of the applications. Already Aish is working with us for this type of applications and we look forward to many more such applications. Thank you. So now you saw the robot that was being controlled, right? It's not just one specific robot. We can actually control and program any robot. In fact, we are working with the Indian Space Agency now for this where any kind of robot on space or any remote controlled location can be remotely controlled using Holosuit to do very fine actions. As you can see, even minute accurate movements can be captured and replicated using the hollow suit and this saves a lot of lives because people no longer need to get exposed to dangerous chemicals rocket fuel as you know is very dangerous right the sludge right now humans are cleaning it but now we are going to be actually having them wear the hollow suit teach the robot how to do it and the ai embodied ai in the robot will automatically learn it and it will actually start using it any other questions? This is our website, by the way, holoworld.one. And what he is doing here is he has wear, worn the hollow suit and he has worn something called the hollow face. So, hollow suit captures your body movements. All the, every joint in the human body is actually captured, right? So, when every joint in the human body gets captured, any action that we do in the real world, how do we do? We basically do it using our body. So if we are able to capture the entire body movements, then we can teach any skill, right? Because any skill effectively requires your human body to be captured, movement to be captured. In fact, what we did was we actually conducted a mobile robotics challenge using this AR VR technology in partnership with NSTC, where 23,000 CBSE schools participated and we selected 16 winners who were actually now given physical kits because that's why it's called a digital world. It's not that we are going to replicate or replace the physical world. It is just that it is so much more cost effective. What we are doing is a lot of the laboratories around India, now we are replacing it with digital laboratories. Many of the villages will actually have access to these um, facilities where they will be able to actually have access only using a hollow mat and a tab to all the labs, whether it's a physics lab, a chemistry lab, or a biology lab, and they will be able to actually conduct these experiments, right? So the advantage of this thing is now, any village, even if they don't have a teacher, using this robot, we can place these robots at these villages, and remotely we can go there, because one of the challenges in rural India is that it is very difficult to have the students and the teachers at the same place because teachers, good teachers don't want to go to villages. So can we use the technology of robotics and this hollow suit to actually transfer the best of the teachers from wherever they are to the villages? So that is one of the interesting. I would love to hear any other applications if you are thinking about using hollow suit that you are, you have the idea. Any other questions? Yes, I think. We, 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 uh. Yeah. Um, firstly, I must appreciate the kind of great work that you're doing. Um, okay. Just to let you know that we work a lot in the uh, defense applications, and automotive, aerospace. Uh, just wanted to know that, for example, in the also uh, are quite into the GIS. We work with the, the DRDO labs and the tri-service. 
So if there is uh, a synergy, for example, I saw something as far as the, uh, the military and the terrain. So if there is a synergy, we are building a product with, uh, with the VRDO, you know. So if there is a synergy that we can come up with, you know, which can be an extension to what we can do, which will be a last mile uh, closer to the customer. Uh, maybe that's one. Second is we also work with the large corporations in the automotive. So uh, there's a lot of, we kind of think that there could be some synergy. So maybe if you think from an automotive perspective, as we are a lot in the systems engineering in the automotive. So one from the automotive and the other from the, DI, uh, uh, the defense in the GIS or any mission critical applications, you know, we can probably have a spin off. Absolutely. That is why we are here. We would love to partner with as many people as possible and see these technologies being shared and utilized. We have an SDK also available for this, so you'll be able to utilize this. Can we have the audio jack out, please? I'll just play. I'll just be playing the video in a loop here, so that people can just yeah, see so it. So we and, work uh, also we in the European market. So uh, absolutely, we can definitely take this can. offline. Yeah, definitely, we can take this offline. So I think they are kind of almost getting ready. You can see the uh, things getting set up now. This is the hollow projector. So the concept here is actually very simple. You have all seen the Iron Man display, right? Where Iron Man stands and he's able to interact. And uh, we all wanted to have such a display in our colleges, in our rooms, in our homes. See, the biggest challenge, what is the biggest challenge with virtual reality or augmented reality right now. So if you think deeply about it, one of the biggest challenge is the cost and the fact it is single user. For example, if I am wearing a VR headset, if I am doing some operations, none of you will be able to see it and experience it, right? You have to have your own VR headset or even if I have an AR phone, if I want to, if, if a doctor wants to show how a surgery is done, it is very difficult for them to be able to show this to a large audience without every one of you wearing the VR headset, right? And then we go into the metaverse. But what if we had a mass augmented reality device where nobody has to actually wear anything, they don't need any device, all of you are sitting over there and now you are able to see things in 3D where you are able to see the movement of Yuraj Singh. See, right now, if you see here, what has happened is his figure actually has gotten converted into the figure of Yuraj Singh. And they are just adjusting the display over here now. But once they adjust the display, you will be able to see that Yuraj Singh character is actually coming alive in front of you. And why is this important? This is important because as we start projecting things in 3D and start interacting with things in 3D, it becomes a mass interface, right? So we'll be able to, yeah, can, you can probably turn around to the other side. <laughs> so as, uh, as you can see here, Yuraj Singh is saying hi. Just close it, just close it, yeah. So he, how many sixes did Yuraj Singh hit? Can anybody say? In fact, sign language you are talking about, right? Six is being shown here as the number of sixes being hit by Yuraj Singh. And as you can see, he can move his face. If he moves his face or his body, can you say hi? Just turn around and say hi. Yeah, light is there. Oh, light, okay. Yeah, uh, this requires a little bit of light. Can we have a little bit of light in the background? on the stage. Yeah. So anyway, I think you saw in the video, like I don't want to waste more of the time, but you saw how hollow suit body movements work. And this is the hollow face where it will be able to capture it. It does require light as you know, like for being able to capture the face and I think lights are coming from the other side, so they are not able to do it. So we'll go to the next demo, Shubham. 
let's quickly wrap up with the next uh, demo. So now this is all great. You are able to capture the body moment. But what do you do with it? How do we actually skill people using this technology? Because one is, of course, for entertainment, this is great, right? Now we can create avatar type of movies for very low cost, or you can create Kung Fu Panda, any type of movie, right? Because it's realistic capture and realistic control. But now if you want to actually use this technology for edutainment, right? Combine education and entertainment. Let us quickly see how it can turn into an Iron Man interface, wherein now your body is able to actually start controlling the 3D interface and also start teaching something. Like how many of you have actually seen the solar eclipse in 3D or the rotation of the moon, the solar system in 3D, right? Mostly we all see 2D interfaces of these things. So right now, what we are going to show, is it, uh, okay. So here, we are going to actually teach like a kid addition, but we have actually gamified it. What is the gamification here? We are saying that the kid is actually going to try to grab the fruit, right? We'll say, this kid wants to grab the fruit and the teacher is actually now the Iron Man and he is controlling a giant and by controlling a giant, as you can see, the giant is going and he is actually picking up one by one and placing it. So this is the Iron Man interface which I was talking about. Doesn't it look like the Iron Man interface where he is interacting with things, where he is actually able to go and pick things up and once he once he once the giant is able to pick it up and place these many kind of like cans on top of it then he is now able to reach and grab it and get that treasure right so the nice thing about it is as he's capturing the treasure the students it's not so easy to capture the treasure so once the treasure is captured he has put all these kind of like uh, things over there and once he captures the treasure, then the giant will actually go away. So these are the interfaces that we are enabling. Shubham, we can probably, I think, wrap it up. So any other uh, uh, questions if you have? Otherwise, I think I am short of two minutes. Yeah, I have two minutes for questions. Please go ahead. Like you rightly said, that in India, you have a problem of students in one place where teachers don't want to go. Yes. Similar problem in this country is patients in one place, doctors don't want to go. Yes. So there any solution for that? Absolutely. In fact, we have worked with one of the top neuro rehab scientists uh, right here in Bangalore and also around the world, where in UK and all, where what we have done is we have created these holographic robots which can be controlled by the doctors. So the doctor will come in the form of a robot and it also has a zoom camera. So they can go around, the patient will feel like they are actually in front of the doctor the nurse can take the readings, but the doctor can actually be moving around. Let's see, right now, if I come on the wall, right, the biggest problem is the doctor comes in Zoom, he's like stuck to the wall. He cannot go around, he cannot talk, he cannot see from a different angle. But with a robot and the Zoom camera that we have built, and especially with the hands that we have built, right, so the doctor can gesture, he can come and say, oh, hi there, how are you doing? And then he will come, okay, let me take a look at you. And how will the patient feel compared to the current methods, right? And the best part is there will still be a local nurse. And the more interesting thing is especially with the rehabilitation, right? Because many, many times with this suit, the doctor can remotely tell the patient what are all the activities he needs to perform. And they can remotely monitor these activities. Is there improvement? Because we know exactly how much improvement is happening with the suit. So that's a great question. Any other question? Yeah, uh, yeah. I just want to have one input uh, yes. here, over here. I'm from a smartphone background. I yes. worked in ST, uh, microelectronics and all. If you could bring this to a common man on this planet, common man on this yes. entire planet, Yes. On a smartphone like this, I yes. think under $10, yes. 
we have already bought that's, it that's that's what you are going to take you to places we have already done it all those labs that i am talking it's already there schools in mysore have already deployed it every week they are actually doing their lab exercises holographically using holomat in fact you have a holomat in your thing you can take it download this and you will start getting access to it it's already in the mobile you, you, phone you as a holomat you should pursue apple and samsung to put it over there that's it samsung is talking to us they are behind us actually so definitely they are very much interested in in what we have developed thank you very much for that suggestion that's why that's why we invented holomat along with holo suit see holomat is for the mobile phones for ar holo suit is for vr and holo projector is for pc so we want to dominate all three just like apple ecosystem right we want deep tech to not just be one but build an ecosystem where every technology that we now build anybody who builds anything on our holo world sdk will automatically start working on the mobile phone on the pc on vr Yeah, so we'll request you to take one last question and then we'll come yes. to uh, good morning harsha uh, this is satya prakash from uh, there's somebody Lama. here sir there's somebody asking a question here yeah there's a lady so here so just a quick one i mean i've seen some of these for a while right in terms of these solutions the problem with them has been that they've not scaled fast enough Uh, of course there's a lot of requirement for most of these solutions so what i mean i see you're creating an ecosystem which i think is super positive but still the whole holo suit thing seems to be you know fairly bulky and 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 things like that so i'm i'm not sure what your thoughts are on taking this at scale uh, across every industry right? excellent question in fact we are just creating holo suit 3.0 which is going to be much slimmer which is going to actually so that see any technology even mac right when they initially created a pc it was the size of a room and then it got scaled down right so what you are seeing here this jacket if you wear it it is actually very light lightweight it just looks like it might be a little heavy but i would encourage you to just take and like see how heavy it is it is less than 1.5 kg is the entire setup right of course he was also wearing the facial capture facial capture is only for the entertainment industry and that is where we are creating a sports version of this which will also have a lot of flexibility so that you can play cricket you can play golf and be able to learn from it so definitely that is a point well taken and we have to scale it up and that is where we have to have multiple strategies right one is at the holomat which is for the mass consumer b2c and this is probably initially going to be it's already used by industries as you saw right and then slowly it will come into the yeah, consumer not the device makers are you also reaching out to some of these players in the market like banks banks have been looking at uh, you know a future banking where you have absolutely in fact i actually gave a talk to the top 60 bankers who total controlled 1 trillion dollar right including the rbi ex um, uh, executive director had come to mysore we are definitely working very closely with them on trying to incorporate these technologies to do better customer service to actually give insurance loans and also tie up the body movements with insurance capabilities right because fitbit and all if they try to tie it up then indians are very smart they will put it on their dog they will put it on the fan but with holo suit you actually know the actual body movements so with this you can validate that they have actually done it so even indians will not be able to like avoid like the exercises and kind of avoid the insurance kind of thing the rest of the questions can be taken offline Absolutely. sir because time's up thank you thank you very thank much thank you so much and they also have a booth outside so absolutely there is a booth outside there are a lot more experiences see we have completely revolutionized agriculture veterinary sciences there are so many things i have not spoken about these are already deployed and being used right so this is not this is world bank funded projects that we have already executed so please come and take a look at it in the booth thank you so much sir there's also a gift that we'd like to uh, offer to you and it is a eco friendly gift let me not forget to mention that thank you thank very you so much, much for giving us this form nascom